Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be doing another pack opening because we have some really exciting new sales but quickly before I do that uh, I've, after, ever since I've created this character, I only showed him off in about one video. A lot of people have been asking me what armor he is actually wearing. I was going for like a Grim Reaper-ish type theme. He's called the Messenger of Death and he's got the Nihilus mask. But in terms of what armor he's wearing, I am using the Resurrected Force Master's Vestments. Now, I did buy this off the GTN for like uh, 80k. Here, I'll quickly check what it's going for right now. I bought it very cheap and um, okay there's none on the GTN you can probably find some reskin versions of it if you just kind of search through the upper body armors available but that's what I'm using it's called the resurrected force masters vestments and then I'm using the Cathar honor sword and uh, along with the Nihilus mask and then the resurrected warriors gauntlets and some random boots and stuff all right so now that we've gotten that out of the way with as you guys can see I do have 10 grand shadow packs available in my inventory because those are the new big sale 1000 cartel coins only for this weekend now we have been getting a lot of grand packs the grand nightlife packs were easily the best because they only cost 750 cartel coins they had amazing rng i've done a pack openings for them i've also opened more that i haven't recorded but man those things drop gold items like crazy i can't tell you how many two log horde armor sets i got from that and dathomir rankers all that really good stuff and then we had the um, first Grand Acquisitions Packs. Now, the first Grand Acquisitions Packs were Grand Packs, right? They kind of just give you an amalgamation of items from different cartel market shipments. What was special about that one was it was giving you items from all of the Shipment 1 cartel packs. So look how many items there are. All of the Shipment 2 and all of the Shipment 3. So there was just a ton of items you could potentially get from there. And... Um, yeah, that was crazy and it was a really bad pack because the RNG wasn't too good, the amount of gold items you got from them wasn't good at all. So um, the Grand Nightlet packs were amazing, those sucked. Now we have the Grand uh, Shadow Packs, which means all of the items from these Shadow Packs can drop out of this pack. Now I quite like the Shadow Packs, okay, these had some of the best like bronze and silver stuff. A lot of this stuff actually sells really well in the G10, regardless of whether it's gold, silver or bronze. It also has some amazing, amazing gold armor sets like the Revan Reborn, the Shea Vizsla, and all this other really, really good stuff. So um, this is definitely a pack with a lot of good items, but let's open them up and see whether the RNG is any good. I want to quickly note that there isn't much transparency in terms of what's actually inside of these packs. If we read the description, it says, contains a selection of items drawn randomly from the Initiates, Pilgrims, Acolytes, Apprentices, and Master Shadow packs found on the cartel market. What's different from this than the other packs is usually the other packs will actually uh, tell us, you know, you're going to get one guaranteed bronze armor set, you'll get a silver thing or with a better chance of getting a gold or you'll get like a die module pack. It tells you. Uh, this one doesn't really tell you what you're getting, uh, whether you're getting reputation items or anything, nor do, it, it does have this uh, Grand Chance Cube symbol. So it does seem as though Grand Chance Cubes are going to drop out of this pack. Maybe it guarantees you one cube or something. Uh, let's stop speculating and actually go ahead and open 10 of these and see what comes out of them. All right, yeah. Okay, four items, and come on, hopefully we get some good stuff. Oh, it's gonna be gold. The Yavin Combat Arena, the revealing bodysuit armor, and uh, Memoir, Unication Wars, and Scrap, Scavin, Scrap. Okay, so it doesn't guarantee you a chance cube or anything, so I'm assuming that maybe Grand Chance Cubes are actually just have a chance of dropping instead of some of this stuff. Uh, that's gonna kind of suck, considering these cost a thousand cartel coins, and so not just the normal cartel pack, which uh, only costs 250. But anyways, that's a really good armor set. I know that upper body armor sells very well, even though it's about to be reskinned in the new pack. Uh, still, it's probably going to sell pretty well. And the Yavin Combat Arena, I've seen that go up for tons of credits on the GTN. That's pretty awesome. And already a gold item. That's not... That is a... Oh, wow, another gold. Revenite Vindicator's armor set and the Armored Boreal Ice Tromper. So far, so good. That is a nice silver mount. Uh, and the Revenite Vindicator, anything with the word Revan in it, uh, will sell very well in the GTN. So definitely this armor set is awesome. I thought this armor set was actually a silver armor set, but uh, I guess it was gold. All right, here we go again. Two gold uh, items. And here we have just a normal pack opening with the Rishi Pirate Cannon and the Potted Plant Yavin Cave Fern. So some nice decorations. Uh, the One Man Band, a very nice toy regen, and the Talon Cutter. So these are these are actually pretty good items. They, they'll sell decently on the GTN, or even if you just want to collect them, they do look very nice. However, I'm not gonna not really worth 700. Oh, sorry, 1,000 cartel coins. I wish they would put this on sale for 750. That seems like a much more reasonable price to me. But uh, come on, any more gold stuff? 
Oh wow, the toy Sola? I know that sells very well. I will check some of these prices on the GTN and then the Sky Breeze Cutter. Eh, it's a decent mount, but um, not going to net you a crazy amount of credits. And this is the Glacial Ice Tromper, so another version of that one we got and another toy uh, Sola regen. Alright, so it seems like the gold items have run their course. We have two good ones at the start. Oh, we got another one. Oh, two. Uh, okay, so the Revenant Vindicator again and the black and purple die module. I'm really hoping for that Revan Reborn. If you get that armor set, you are golden. That thing is just sells for a crazy amount on the GTN. Uh, the black and purple die module, uh, it's, it's okay. I mean, usually these dies, unless they're white and white or white and black or black and black, uh, those are the ones that will sell very well. These stuff, not really. But I'm not complaining, a double gold, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the Yavin Warrior with a Sith Spear and the Yavin Head sculpture, sculpture. Now this is something to keep in mind. The decorations from the Shadow Packs, the Stronghold Packs, those are act actually some of the nicest decorations and they do sell for a ton on the GTN. So it's really no joke. Uh, these decorations might as well count them as like gold items. They'll sell very well. And I'll show you the prices afterward. And Mode Sinister. So there's no Chance Cubes. I mean, it had the Chance Cube on the logo, but uh, it doesn't seem like Chance Cubes really drop out of this. And thank God too, because uh, that would suck. All right, and the ventilated scaling armor set and the Yavin floor lamp. Okay, so uh, overall, not entirely too terrible, but um, not the greatest, not as good as the Grand Nightlife packs. I did end up getting only four gold items out of 10 packs. I can tell you that if I was opening the um, Grand Nightlife packs, I probably would have gotten like six to seven gold items, honestly. That's how good the RNG was with that. So it's not quite as good, but... Um, and I didn't really get any of the really amazing good stuff, you know, if you get Shea Vizla's armor set or the Revan Reborn armor set, those are the ones you're really going to want to look at. So let's quickly check the price of some of these. Revanite Vindicator. Uh, as you can see, it sells, like, just the regular stuff, the bracers, that's going to sell very high. And then the helmets up here at 10 million and the upper body armor is all the way up here at 15 million credits. So a very, very expensive armor set. I definitely expect the prices to drop uh, because this pack's going to, you know, flood the GTN, but it's only here for the weekend. So after that, the prices will probably shoot right back up again. I'll quickly preview this helmet. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, very, very nice looking Revenite helmet. I can see why that's selling pretty high. All right, what was some of the other stuff we got? We got the Yavin a Warrior with a Spear. Now, I can tell you this is going to sell pretty high, even though it's a silver one. See, 7 million credits and only one on the GTN. And then the Yavin Combat Arena. This was the gold one we got. Ah, there we go. Up here at 60 mil. Probably doesn't sell that high a price, but you can see that it's up there in the high, high millions of credits. Yeah, very good for like people who are holding dueling tournaments and stuff like that. So I can see why that sells pretty high. Uh, let's see if there's anything else worth checking on the GTN. Yeah, so, I mean, some of this other stuff, you can check it out yourself, but it's going to sell decently. Uh, the kind of verdict for this pack is, it's not as bad as the first Grand Acquisitions pack. I had put a big no on that one. Like, do not buy that one. It was terrible. This one has a shorter range of items you can get. I, I'm not sure why the Grand Chance Cube label is there, because it doesn't seem like Grand Chance Cubes drop out of this pack. But you do have a chance of getting some really awesome stuff, like the Jet Pack, the Revan Reborn, the Shea Vizsla. And then gold items do have a better chance of dropping out of this one. But uh, at the high price of 1,000 cartel coins, you definitely should think about it before going ahead and picking this up. I uh, don't think of it as a Grand Nightlight Packs. It doesn't seem to have as good RNG as that one did. Uh, we'll quickly check the Soa regen. That was another one I wanted to quickly check up. Aha, here we go. All the way up here at um, 3,600,000 credits. You know, this is actually selling pretty cheap. I don't think I have this uh, <laughs> decoration. Might as well pick it up. That's a pretty awesome price for that. Um, yeah, other than that, that is the pack opening video. I did want to open 10 this time around. Usually I'd only open like five, but um, I wanted to give you a really good sense of, you know, uh, the drop rates for this. Because uh, the thing about the Grand Nightlight packs were, you know, I say the drop rates were amazing because the pack opening that I did, I only opened five packs and I got like two low cords on my set and the Dathomir Rancor. I did do a few pack openings just by myself after that. And uh, I sometimes I'd open five or six in a row and not get a single gold item, right? So it's not like, it doesn't work like, oh, you're guaranteed to have a really good pack opening with those. 
but with this one, you know, it's decent. It's decent. It's not like you're going to open it and be super disappointed. As I said, even some of the silver and bronze stuff will sell really well in GTN. So if you don't get what you were looking for, you can probably net a good amount of credits from that pack opening. I do wish it was 750 cartel coins. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you go ahead and try to get this pack, I wish you a lot of luck. May the force be with you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.